Hey guys, JP with the Droid Sector, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to root your T-Mobile My Touch 3G, the one without the headphone jack, um, and install a custom ROM on it, like Sense UI or 2.1. Today, a couple things to let you guys know. This only works on Android 1.5. If you've updated to any higher firmware, go to the go to the little description down below and click the link on how to downgrade, how to get back to stock 1.5. Also, the Droid Sector wants to let you know if anything happens during this process that breaks your phone or remakes your phone, renders your phone useless, we are not responsible. That is your own fault. Let's get started. So first you want to make sure you have two files on your SD card. You want to make sure you have the flash rec dash 1.1.3 dash 2009-11072.apk and the recovery.img file. So you want to go to the market and download Linda File Manager. Once that installed, go ahead and click open and select SD card and then go ahead and select the flash rec that we just discussed. Go ahead and click install and once it's done installing, click open and you want to click down here, backup recovery image. Once it's done in this little text field, you want to enter dash s d c a r d slash recovery dot i m g and then the flash recovery image should light up and you click that and I'll say working do not interrupt once that's done you're gonna want to turn the phone off, power the phone off go to power off okay and then I was using a different SD card to do that I'll go ahead and show you guys this part as well. Then you're going to want to turn your phone on via home and power. And then just keep holding it until you see your new recovery menu. So this is my new recovery menu, RA-Dream-V1.6.2. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down and scroll down to Partition SD Card. Select that and select Partition SD Card. Home to Confirm. And then Home, Home, and then Home to Confirm. And it should say Partitioning SD Card. Now I'm not going to cut the video just so you guys know what you can expect. I'm using a 2 gig SD card right now. Um, I already have a pre-partitioned 8 gig with a lot of ROMs on it. I if, for, if you're rooting your phone, I do recommend you purchase a Class 6 SD card if you expect if you expect to run ROMs really smoothly. Class 6 SD card. Um, I'll find a link to one and post it down in the, the little written how-to below. Now, while it's partitioning, I'm going to put a couple of my favorite ROMs up here. Go ahead and download one or two of those ROMs. Select which one you like, and we'll... So you have a ROM to flash. Once that's done, you want to scroll down to SD, dash, or colon, EXT2 to EXT3. Press that and then click Home to confirm. This will allow you to do apps to SD on some ROMs. And then last but not least, scroll all the way down and click EXT2, EXT3 to EXT4, sorry. And that should do really fast. OK, 
Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and swap out my SD card really fast. With my 8 gig one with all my ROMs and everything on it. Okay, now you want to hit the back key and go to wipe. Do a wipe data factory reset and then home to confirm. Then you want to wipe the Delvic dash cache and then do a home to confirm. Then you want to wipe the SD EXT partition, home to confirm. Then you want to hit back. Once again, scroll down to partition SD card and click repair SD EXT. Home to confirm. And this can take a little bit if, you, if you've had like a lot of apps SDs and stuff like that. Okay, once that's done, click back, then scroll down to flash zip from SD card, and find a ROM you want. I'm going to go ahead and flash. Hyper CSDI. And go ahead and let that ROM flash. And flashing the ROMs is by far the longest part of this process, as well as the first boot. Okay, once that's done, you want to go ahead and click Reboot System Now. Your ROM will take anywhere from 5 to 20 minutes for the first boot on this. Once it's booted up, just go ahead and sign into your ROM. And there you go, you are rooted. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Remember, the Droid Sector is not responsible for any damage caused to your phone by rooting your phone. Peace.